guys. Today I am bringing y'all our grocery haul for our family of nine and I went shopping at two places actually. I went to Kroger and then I really wanted to go to Aldi and when I pulled up it was like under construction the worst but I went to like a 99 cent only store and I actually found some pretty good deals so let me show you what I found. Got some little window stickers. Hopefully the stickers will make this process go very smoothly. First of all, I always go to Kroger for this Chobani coffee creamer. I cannot find it everywhere, um, but I pretty much always find it at Kroger. It does still have natural flavors, but that is really hard to work around when it comes to creamer. But I do like that it does still have some regular vanilla extract as well. And then I tried the peppermint mocha. And of course, as soon as I got home, I had to try it out. And I actually like it a lot. Anyways, I did end up liking it quite a bit. Um, even though I was a little bit nervous, I still want to try it out. It's really yummy. Then when I was getting the creamer, I saw this whole milk cottage cheese. I like have never seen whole milk before, um, so I was really excited. Uh, and it also has some live and active cultures, which seems pretty great. So get some probiotic benefit as well. Then I had to get some pull-ups, which is no fun, but um, we have a couple kids. I got these and one other package in blue and uh, then i got tons of bananas tons and tons of bananas and then i was super excited because there were some clearance items this is a chocolate that i really enjoy it's non-gmo um and it's really really dark chocolate so it's got some antioxidants and it was only 75 cents you guys look regularly 279 i was super excited this is um one of the brands and flavors that i typically get so i was excited to find it clearance then, I guess because it's coming down to the end of summer, I got some mineral-based um, sunscreens. Really, really cheap. Um, I don't like to get any form of chemical sunscreens. I really like to stick with a mineral base. So I got one that's like a rub-on and a small one that's a stick. And this one was also only $2.50, originally $8.99. Also in the clearance bin, I was super stoked, was these squeezy pouches. We do not do a lot of these individual pouches very often, but they are only 25 cents each, which if you've been here long, you know that that is my max for individual package snacks. It's 25 cents because I'm passing these out seven at a time. It may seem like a lot, but this is only like eight days worth, including these. Um, I'm gonna get these two because they have the carrot in them, so I like that they have some uh, vegetables and even though they're technically say baby food you can give them to older kids just the same uh, as I'm gonna do so these were originally $5.99 and I got them for two dollars a box so I got three boxes of those and I think I got like 38 of these so yeah that was a definitely a really good find and the last thing I got from Kroger were some apples we're actually gonna do like an apple tasting in uh, school so that's what that's for I got some Grady Smith some Gala some Fuji and we'll taste the difference then moving over to the 99 cent store haul, I was pretty excited. Did not know if I was gonna find a lot of produce there, but I ended up finding quite a bit. I got some asparagus. These were $1.49 a bundle. Then they had bell peppers for only 50 cents each. I actually got six, we just already ate one. I got three red and three orange. Then they had some kiwis for $1.99, I believe, for the six of these. Then I got some plums here and a little thing of tomatoes. This was only 99 cents, so I picked that up. Then I got some regular Boss pears, $1.99 for two pounds. And what I was most excited about were these Asian pears. If you know much about these pears, they're usually like a dollar each at typical grocery stores, but they had a, pa um, a bag of about seven or eight of them that was $1.99. And my kids have been really asking for these, wanting to try them, so I was really excited to pick those up. Then, this is some interesting finds, but I was pretty excited. Um, they have this Wolfgang Puck look organic, organic soup in a can. I not typically want to buy stuff like this, but I'm going to take it with us uh, to school slash work for days that maybe I didn't have leftovers. So they have pretty good ingredients there. Um, and for 99 cents, I just couldn't pass them up. So I got two of the signature tortilla soups. Then we're gonna try the free range chicken noodle. Uh, and I think the last one I got was, yes, the tomato basil. So I actually made homemade tomato soup not that long ago, and I ended up being the only one that liked it. So instead of making a big pot for just me, I guess I'll just heat this up for myself. Then this was really interesting. I have seen this brand, but never this exact item. It is like kind of like a fruit leather. 
Uh, it says one whole organic banana with pecans. Um, so yeah, just two ingredients, non-GMO, organic. We will see how that tastes, but it was 99 cents just for one, so I didn't get a bunch of them, really just to try out and try something new. All right, we've got some taste testers. Take a bite, see how you like it. What do you think? Is it yummy? Yeah. Is it pretty sweet? Yeah. You do like it, JJ? Yeah. All right, kid tested and approved. I was excited to see this Mom's Best cereal. Um, this is a brand I've been buying for years because it's very affordable. However, I had just stopped buying it because some of it was saying that it contained genetically modified ingredients. But, ding, 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 this one, I don't know if it's just the Raisin brand. I'm going to check next time I go to the store. But it says non-GMO verified. So, I was really excited to see that. So, the ingredients are a lot more minimal than a lot of other box cereals. And for $1.99 for the family size, I thought that was a really great deal. And then the last thing I found were these Vans um, gluten-free, sorry, I don't know how to read a lot of Spanish, but if you do, that was for you. Um, there's the Vans gluten-free original. So these one ended up only being a dollar, which these at a grocery store are three, four dollars easily. So I was very excited about that. We actually ate these for breakfast with some like frozen blueberries. I had gotten two boxes of those for a dollar each. No more, Mommy. Oh, no. All right. Well, while I was sitting here, they literally ate that entire container of grape tomatoes. I need to buy more tomatoes. <laughs> All right, you guys, there we have it. There was our Kroger and 99 cent only grocery store haul. Make sure and like this video. Subscribe if you haven't already. Stick around for more healthy grocery hauls um, for this big, crazy family that I've got over here. Until next time, you guys have a very blessed, blessed day.